Good morning folks, and what a beautiful morning, the sun's shining, great day to be out, and what I thought I'd do is bring you along and show you this plant here. This plant here is called Sweet Sicily, it's an umbellifer and it's part of the carrot family. Um, it has relations within the carrot family that are poisonous, like hemlock. Um, I won't really go into a lot of uh, umbellifer plants, part of the carrot family, because there is a lot of them that are poisonous, but this one's a relatively easy one to identify, ideal for the novice. The characteristics of this plant are quite easy to um, determine and establish what plant it is. So what I'll do now, I'll bring you around and we'll take a closer look at this plant. Sweet Sicily. It's a plant that's uh, commonly found in a lot of northern parts of the UK. And it generally grows on verges up against dry stone walls like this one is, riverbanks, streams. And if we walk over and take a look at the plant itself, um, we'll take a look at the flower first. And that's loads of tiny little white flowers on that and that develops into big white umbels. And if we take a look at the leaf, and this is a good way we can identify it. The leaf's quite flat um, and it's like feathery type shape. And it does develop white blotches. I think our camera, we're picking these up. I think we'll have a look at this one here. There, it develops like blotches on the leaves and they get bigger as the plant matures. And all of this plant's edible. And we'll start by the root. The root, obviously at the bottom there, uh, we can use that the same way as we would carrots, parsnip, that sort of thing. It can be eaten raw, just the same as they can. It can also be cooked, sauteed in butter or something like that. It'll be quite nice, I would imagine. And as we get looking up at the back of the, to the flower, the flower develops some beautiful looking striped seeds that sit about so big and they can be eaten straight off the plant. Um, they're good for things like indigestion and poo digestion, that type of thing. They're bright green and they turn to like a button, well they do turn black um, as they mature. The leaves, we can pick the leaves and add them to fruits that contain a lot of acid, such as rhubarb and gooseberries, whilst we're stewing those. Um, and that enables us to reduce the amount of sugar that we need to make them uh, palatable, which this makes an ideal plant for people that suffer with diabetes, because then you can reduce the amount of sugar, uh, which is always a good thing, not just for people that are diabetic, for all of us. The plant has a few pretty good uses, like I've said before, with indigestion, the whole of the plant can help with that. It's good at aiding digestion, it's um, good at relieving wind, flatulence and stuff. And if we take this leaf where I've just picked there and if we crush that up and bruise it and we smell that, it smells really strong of aniseed, have a smell smells really strong of aniseed and we can take the leaves and the seed and even the flower and we can place that in a jar top that up with um, some vodka it doesn't have to be expensive vodka and leave that infused for a few days and then just in a dark place that's like a nice aperitif type drink um, really refreshing really tasty you can read the, the aniseed flavor does come out quite strongly um, and again if you were to drink a little bit that prior to eating a meal, it would help um, with your appetite. And again, after your meal, it would help with digestion. And again, if you suffer with indigestion, that would um, help with the indigestion. And I don't mean like drinking the lot. I just mean like a little, a little shot of it type of thing. It's a beautiful plant. And like I say, a lot of the umbilifer are poisonous but this one is a relatively easy one to identify from the leaf and the flower and the strong smell of aniseed 
and the stem, like you say, you can just pick the stem, like so. That aniseed flavour, and it's quite quite moist as well, that aniseed flavour is coming across really strongly and delicious. I mean, if you're not a fan of aniseed, then this isn't probably the plant for yourself. But I absolutely love aniseed. Done a little plant. Right then, folks, I'm going to end the video just here. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and by all means, please leave a comment, and we'll uh, carry on on my little walk, and we'll see you on the next one. And bye for now, and take care.